Well, I have no idea how the average person keeps up on all this stuff, the, the new grants that are coming out you know, uh, during COVID. Man, I study this stuff every day and I can't. So if you're struggling trying to figure out what COVID is all about and the grants that are available, man, first of all, they change every day. So you can't do that. You know? uh, and, and again, you can't trust people like me that are interpreting something. You have to go to the horse's mouth. But here are some things that are happening now. Uh, remember the old, the extra $300 a week you know, that, that Trump said is going to be available? Well, they, they didn't even start it and they're finishing it already. Like here's, a, <laughs> here's Pennsylvania. They started doing it. And they said, almost as soon as it began in Pennsylvania, the federal government is ending the $300 a week extra unemployment benefits. So I think they only got three or four weeks worth. You know, six is, is like crazy if they got that much. So it's only about like three or four weeks you get it, and then, you know, it goes away. But three times three, <laughs> or three, you know, that's almost a thousand bucks or more. Uh, so you might as well apply, you know. And the important thing, it is in every state. Uh, I think every state, but one or two states are not doing it. And, and there's one state that's even doing it for uh, kicking in an extra $100. I think that's Montana. Uh, but also remember this, you could also see there's two kinds of unemployment in insurance. There's your normal state unemployment. Yeah. <laughs> and that we all know. And then there's the unemployment uh, for the pandemic. So that's why you have to make sure when you go to your state that you're doing for the uh, pandemic unemployment insurance. Because even for the pandemic, you, it's not regular unemployment insurance. You don't even have to have a job before. Yeah. <laughs> you could have a part-time job. You could be looking for a part-time job. See, that's the other thing. So you could be making money, you know, uh, maybe three, four hundred dollars a week while you're looking for a part-time job. You know, you can never do that. Also, maybe you don't have a lot of uh, work history. Well, that is different now. You don't have to work for a year, two years, or whatever the heck it was before. Or, or that's under the normal unemployment. Under this pandemic unemployment, that stuff isn't there. That's why it also includes self-employed workers, including independent contractors, freelancers, workers seeking part-time work, workers who have not <laughs> have who do not have a long enough work history to qualify for the state benefits. So you don't have a long enough work history. So that's it. So no matter who the hell you are, you should apply. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key because they don't know. Everybody, you know, and it, you're asking other people. I got so many questions. Hey, am I eligible for that? Man, I, I, even if I guess and I think I'm right, I, I could be wrong. So it takes nothing to apply. I mean, sure, it takes an order, but so it takes a half hour, an hour. What the hell did you do the last hour? Who's going to give you $500? <laughs> <laughs> a week, <laughs> uh, you know, uh, to fill out a half hour's of work. Okay, so you go here to find out where your state is. Uh, you you need uh, well, actually here, here here's another thing careeronestop.org. And by the way, there's a lot of scams. People saying if people say they're from the Career One Stop and they ask you for money, the Career One Stop never asks you for money. Okay, so that's a legitimate one. Anybody who's at, say, hey, we're with Career One Stop, we're going to get you your unemployment, and uh, you just have to send us, you know, what? <laughs> Anybody calls you up, you don't know, and they want money from you for you for you to get money. You just say, no, no, no. <laughs> you don't want to do that. Okay. But the careeronestop.org is a good place for overall. Because if you just go to careeronestop.org and say, hey, I want to know about unemployment benefits and the COVID uh, provision, just unemployment. They have a wonderful little, you know, it, it's updated because it has a $300, the $300 a week extra stuff in here. Uh, how do I apply for unemployment benefits? Scam alert. Which state do I file in? Uh, what do I do if I can't get through my my state's website and phone lines. You know, what do I do if I have trouble completing the application? My state says I need to register for work to be eligible for unemployment insurance. How do I do that? See, for the pandemic, you probably don't. But see, every state is, don't trust me on anything. You got to go to your state and find out. I'm self-employed. How do I file for unemployment insurance? Will I get the extra $400 from the president's executive order? <laughs> 
<laughs> How do I apply for the 13 week extension? That's another important thing. They're extending unemployment insurance. So if your state only has 26 weeks of unemployment insurance, make sure you're getting that extra 13 weeks. How do you make sure? <laughs> you go to the unemployment insurance. And if they can't help you or you can't get through or whatever, then you call your elected official. You know, and when you call your elected official, you go to uh, commoncause.org. That's how to find your elected official or call your local library or whatever. You want your congressman or your state re uh, representative. They can get through this nonsense for you. You may have to wait on hold there, but they're running for office and they want to make you happy because you they want you to vote for them in about two months. <laughs> Here, I only have a short work history. Am I eligible? Excuse me, for unemployment benefits? Yes, 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 yes. Uh, you don't meet the state's usual requirements, but you will for the pandemic. See, that's it. So it's all different criteria. Forget what's ever in your head that you think you don't apply. No, <laughs> you're qualifying yourself and you don't even give yourself money. <laughs> you go to the people who give the money. <laughs> don't fool around with yourself. <laughs> None of us are that smart. <laughs> they aren't either, but <laughs> they're giving out the money. So that you have to pay attention to. Then you go to Career One Stop and you look for... Uh, Find my unemployment benefits finder. And that's where you get your state. You put in your state here. There's a little drop down and you find out uh, the main things. So this is California. And it tells you how to apply for California or here it, it, it's uh, Connecticut. Uh, search, then you put Connecticut and how to apply, you know, in Connecticut, you want to apply. So, and there's a lot of fraud with this unemployment stuff, particularly in California. People are used to stealing stuff, whatever. Ignore that when you're, <laughs> don't let that stop you from getting money. <laughs> That's a different uh, ball of wax. So here you want Connecticut. Okay, here's for the coronavirus update. Here's general information and how to find out about your claim. So it's a good single source for everybody because that's what uh, we talk about here is all the time. So remember, you want to check on the 13 weeks that you're getting that update. You want to check that you can apply even if you work part-time, you're looking for a part-time job, you don't want to uh, work part-time. See the pandemic, you don't even have to log in every week to say you're looking for a job. I mean, I don't. every state is a little different. So you know, don't take anything I say <laughs> as gospel truth. Go find out yourself at your state. But don't let it stop you. We, 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 we put roadblocks in our head and say, oh, I know they're not going to give it to me. <laughs> you don't know. I don't know. They don't even know <laughs> until you fill out the application. So do it. You got nothing better to do. We're all... <laughs> <laughs> you know, locked up in our closets or whatever the hell we're doing. Uh, and here, actually in the, uh, uh, where is this? Uh, here, the, the governor of Pennsylvania says, uh, absolutely, the, uh, uh, oh no, here, the governor of Pennsylvania, uh, uh, although the, the, uh, the, you know, the short uh, White House thing, the LWA program has ended, the Labor Information Department says, we'll continue paying eligible claimants retroactively for claim weeks between August 1st to September 5th. So that's like four weeks, right? Or something like that. So they'll pay anybody for those four weeks if you weren't working for those four weeks, see? So you can buy, I guess, a week from now, a month from now. Says so the second, we will continue making these payments until the funding we've already received from FEMA for this program is depleted. See, they got a chunk of money. They're not going to get any more. So they're going to pay all this out as long as they can. I urge, and here, here's what the people at the state government are saying. I urge everyone who is partially or fully unemployed because of COVID and haven't applied yet benefits to do show so right away. So they're saying, so if, you, if you're partially unemployed or fully unemployed to apply for those benefits right away. See, and that's the government saying, <laughs> they want to give you money. Yeah. And, and, and the thing, what's important though, is see all this COVID stuff is, you know, normal unemployment, they have to keep giving it forever. Okay. This stuff that's for the COVID is a definite amount. And when it's gone, it's gone. So if you say, oh, I don't know if I want to unemploy, maybe, oh, I don't know. And you think about it tomorrow and, oh, maybe, maybe I should. I think about the next, oh, I wonder, well, maybe, uh, gosh, I wonder if I, 
<laughs> and now get off your butt, just do it right now.